Despite the epidemic, the rice distribution to poor families is continuing in the Philippines. This time, volunteers visited Barangay Nangka, where locals have appreciated Suchi's compassion over the years, including a return during this difficult epidemic period. Manila continues to implement movement restriction orders, with many roads not as busy as usual. In fact, many entrances and exits have police checkpoints, but poor families still have needs with volunteers responding. This is Barangay Nanka, a Marikina city, one of the areas devastated by Typhoon Katsana in 2009. Tichi started coming here to clean up homes on behalf of local residents. At that time, it was so muddy here. My house was full of mud. Only Tichi helped us restore our home. After so many years, thank you very much for your help. Tears went to distribute 4,000 packs of rice. Originally, only one large truck was to be used, but according to local layout, the borough chief arranged four small trucks to distribute to each alley. The alleys here are very narrow, and if you come in with a large truck, I'm afraid the situation will spiral out of control. Our borough office fully supports the city distribution. In this difficult time, we have to help each other. Tiji's love has been blooming in Marikina for 11 years. Local volunteers have helped with successive rice distributions. I'll count every time to help the distribution. I'm not afraid. This is a good deed to help my countrymen. It's safe to have the blessing of the master. After the distribution is over, I have to spend an hour going home. I slept soundly at night because I had the opportunity to volunteer. Movement restriction regulations has not stopped the outflowing of love with the sincerity of the volunteers who are willing to illuminate the corners of the world with love.